it's September. We are back to school, back to practicing and back into life after a summer holiday. I don't know why I'm saying summer holiday. It's not like it's summer here, it's still very cold. But you get my point. By now, most of you have probably also realized how much fun Tomplay is. And if you haven't, I'm gonna encourage you yet again, go and check out the app and get on this train. But so often students feel like they are cheating somehow by using Tomplay or that they are wasting their time. And so today I want to show you guys how Tomplay can actually help improve your play. Hopefully by the end of the session you will realize that not only are you not wasting your time and cheating, but actually this is one of the best things that you could be doing. Hi everybody, my name is Tatiana. This is the Flute Practice, a space to help you learn and grow on your journey. Since it is the start of the new school year, Tom Play are actually running a nice special on their app. So this is a great time to click down on that link below and get access to this app with 30% off the annual fee. Okay guys, let us dive right in. Number one, and I've actually seen this quite a lot with my students. Playing on Tom Play can really help students learn to count better. This is in part because you actually have to play along with those backing tracks, which helps you to stay in time because you can't just do whatever you feel like. But also in part because you have those flute tracks that you can either listen to or play along with, it actually tells you whether or not you're playing in time and helps you to know what it should sound like. Now, I do not recommend that you replace this with good old fashioned metronome work. I really recommend when you're playing a piece on Tom Play to do it a few times with a metronome away from that backing track, just so that you are training that internal sense of pulse. But here's the great news. Tom Play has a built-in metronome, so you can even just use the metronome there while working on the piece. If you struggle to play along with backing tracks or you're struggling to keep in time at all, I recommend starting off with some nice easy pieces on Tom Play, practice them through, practice with the metronome, and then play it along with the backing track. You might want to play it first with the flute playing along with you and then without the flute. But the secret here is start simple, start easy and build up the skill. I have a whole playlist of really nice easy pieces to play on Tom Play. So go check out that list and choose one of those nice pieces or all of them, they're, they're pretty short. The second way that Tom Play can really help you to improve your playing is it trains you to sight read well. Let me explain. Now, other than the fact that it's got like hundreds of really great pieces to choose from, and you will basically just never run out of cool things to sight read, there's another really great feature about this that actually reminds me of an exercise that I learned during my university years to help people to learn to sight read. The really cool feature on Tom Play, and this is going to kind of come up a few times in this video, is this cursor that keeps moving along with the beat. Because as that cursor moves, it trains you to do one really important thing in sight reading, and that is to not stop or go back and try and fix things. Even better is put on the backing track straight away and sight read with that backing track. It's kind of like playing in a band or an orchestra. One of the best ways to learn to sight read, by the way, because you cannot stop. You just may not stop, you have to keep going. In my university days, we were introduced to this exercise to teach students to sight read, where you would basically put your hands in front of the music that a student has just played and move it as they play so that they can only ever see the last couple of notes they've just played. And this really helps them get that sense of you can't go back and fix things because you can't see the music anymore that you've just played. It also puts them under a little bit of pressure because they're like, ah, her hand is moving, I have to keep up. And Tom Play does this for you with that lovely cursor and with the backing tracks. So it is such a good way to improve your sight reading. So if you're struggling with sight reading, go play some things on Tom Play. One of the other really unexpected benefits of Tom Play is that it actually helps you with your intonation. You get an opportunity here to actually play along with something else that is in pitch. And so you can get a sense of whether or not you are actually in pitch. Now, when you're starting this journey, you might not hear it so clearly. I recommend record yourself, listen back because you will quickly notice when you are out of tune. Over time, you learn to hear this better and better and also learn to hear it in the moment and you learn how to fix this. For more on intonation, go and check out the video that we have done on this where you can learn how you can adjust and control your intonation on the flute. These skills are all the skills that you learn normally from playing in a band. 
improving your counting, improving your sight reading, and improving your intonation. And I think it's so cool that you can be doing this from the comfort of your own home with Tomplay. This is a really nice little unexpected way that Tomplay can help your musician skills, and that is, it's a great place to use for improvisation. Now, not all the tracks work well for this, but you can find some of the tracks, especially tracks to some of the more pop music or more simple things that you can actually use to improvise along to. Okay, let me show you how to do this on a really, 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 really basic level. I'm going to play Lightly Row. It's a free track on Tomplay, so all of you can try this out for free and go check out Tomplay while you're at it. It's a free little track available. It's a very, very basic beginner song. You know, some of you will probably have played it. And I'm going to use it to improvise. So first you might want to just play it through with the backing track as is. So you're just going to play it through nicely. Now I'm going to play it through and I'm going to still play the melody, but I'm just going to kind of add to it, like maybe fill in some of the intervals or just, you know, mess around with the notes a little bit. Okay, so that track works pretty okay. Check this one out. doesn't have to be the world's most profound thing, but it's a really great little tool to get us improvising and help us to just step out of the usual comfort zone. Tomplay has got some surprising functions to help us develop our technique. One of them is actually to have all the Reichert exercises available on the platform. So when you're playing and you're having fun with your great music, you can just remind yourself to go to those Reichert exercises or download them just to remind yourself to get into some technique there as well. But they've also recently developed another really cool tool, which is a fingering chart, which you guys can actually download below. There's a link to it and you can take it, you can print it, you can keep it on your computer or your iPad and reference it and learn from it. This is of course really helpful for any of you who are still learning some of the fingerings on the flute. The last really, really, really great function of Tom Play is just to improve your skills as a musician. The tracks on Tom Play are actually really beautiful and very, very well played and give you a sense of how the music should be phrased. Not only that, very often music is only half complete with the flute part. We actually need the accompaniment or the piano part or the other parts to complete the music. And so when you play it together with the backing tracks, you get a sense of the full picture of the music, what the composer intended and where it's going. It's also really great for some of you who maybe don't quite know how to phrase or where to phrase yet, because these backing tracks will actually help to train this as you play along with these really awesome musicians. There is actually one more little added bonus to playing with Tomplay that I do think should make this list and that is that Tomplay is just going to help you to fall in love with your instrument a little bit more and seriously if none of those other points even were valid for you at the very least it's going to help grow your passion and your joy for this instrument and seriously no money in the world can buy that so savor it cherish it look after it I mean if you're not doing this because you love it then why are you doing it so there you have it guys, some really great ways that Tom Player actually helps you become a better musician and a better flute player. So next time you're feeling guilty about using this app, 
remember, it's actually a really good thing. A huge thank you to Tom Pei for this video and providing us with that really cool special that's happening. Go click on links down below, go sign up for Tom Play. It's a great way to get back into your practicing and it's a great way to improve your flute today. Until then everybody, happy practicing and see you next time.